Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Okay, so, let me start by saying that I am a grown-ass man. Hats off to New Orleans, they took care of business, and you gotta, quite frankly, look at that team as a true good team because last week they went up to the Pacific Northwest and beat Seattle on the road without Drew Brees and now come back home and they beat our Cowboys. Um, I want to say something that really and truly bothers me. See, I'm here after a loss. I said this week, I said, listen, watch out for Sean Payton. He's going to pull out all the stops. And that he definitely did. I said, be leery of that crowd in New Orleans. And it was loud. Even though we had a lot of Cowboy fans, you still didn't stop. Who that nation? I said, Demario Davis, that that guy is a beast. And he's a beast. I said, don't sleep on that defense because they have not given up a 100-yard rusher since 2017. And people told me, nah, that defense is like 26 in the NFL. The reason why they don't give up a 100-yard rusher is because Drew Brees always has those guys so far ahead that everybody's trying to play catch-up. But I said, listen, don't sleep on them. That's a good team. But here's the thing that bothers me. It, it, I hate losing. But I understand that you're not going to win all the games. If you think about where we were last year at this time, I think we were 2-2 two and two on our way to being 3-5. and five. The past two weeks... We've had so many people that have come through and have all of a sudden that are, yeah, we're Dallas Cowboy fans, you know. I love them Cowboys and everything else. And weren't here when we were 3-5. and five. And as I'm watching the chat in here, seeing all these people that are like, trade that, bench that. I'm done with the Cowboys. I'm out of here. We're losing. You know what? I don't need your kind of fan. I don't need people at the first sign of trouble are gone. Because, you know, there's this old saying that I like to live by. As they say, when you got money, you got lots of friends. When you don't, they don't come around. And one thing I have learned in my life is you know who your true friends are when you go through tough times. Because the cowards or the fair weather, or the bandwagon friends, they're gone when you need help. When you're at your lowest point, they're gone. I don't need people that my, in, in, like that in my life. Because what they do is, they suck up all the stuff that you got. They come to your house, and they drink a good rum. You know what I mean? They eat all your food and everything else and all that stuff. And then, when you need a hand, brother, man, I lost my job. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I don't know who, who, I don't know who you are. I don't need those kind of Dallas Cowboy fans. That when times get rough or the first sign of trouble, they head for the exit. Bye. Go and don't come back. Because I know who the true fans are. And it's okay. It's okay that the cockroaches are coming out. Because I know what they do. They lie there and wait. And see an opportunity. Because tomorrow I know we're going to hear, oh, well, Dak Prescott couldn't carry the team, you know. And we're going to hear Bart, Bart, uh, Bart Scott talking about, yeah, I'll take Trady Bridgewater. But here's the thing. That game was an ugly-ass game. The difference was New Orleans was able to get Alvin Kamara going enough. And there's some calls that happened that went the other way. Not to take anything away from New Orleans, but if Zeke Elliott's fumble isn't called a fumble, I think it's a different game. If Amari Cooper, they called offensive pass interference twice on him, if those things aren't called, it's a different game. But, you know, in the end, things like that happen because it's football. Because what it's all, all it's really about is stacking it together enough victories to get to the playoffs. The way I've always told you guys 
I look at a season is, because it's so long, is you break it down in quarters. Ten and six should be good enough to get you into the playoffs, at least in most years. And in each quarter, you need two quarters where you're three and one. You already got one of those. And that means the other two, you can go 500, two and two. So this one's done. We got that one out of the way. Let's see how we go the next quarter. The Cowboys, well, the biggest concern is Tyron Smith is what kind of shape. Um, I'm hoping it's not the knee. Um, that I'm hearing that it might be a high ankle sprain. Let's hope that it's not bad, but Tyron Smith always misses about three games. Mark Cooper seemed a little bit gimpy, and maybe that foot and that ankle is a little worse than we think. Hopefully that gets right, and hopefully we can get Michael Gallup back. But sometimes you need to get bitch slapped to slap you back to reality before you get to be too big for your britches. So, trolls, Eagle fans, Giant fans, I would say Redskin fans, but there's not too many of them claiming to being Redskin fans. Bring it on, because I'm a grown-ass man, and I can take it. But you haven't shaken my faith in the power of four, or the Dallas Cowboys. So, I don't know about you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. It's been a long day. It's been fun. Had a lot of great friends over. I think they had a good time with the reception of the Cowboys losing. Although, those Redskins fans probably feel a little bit better because the Cowboys lost. But, tomorrow's a new day. Don't break your shit up. I don't want to see any Cowboy videos where somebody put their head through a television screen not working. I'll see you guys first thing in the morning with Monday morning hangover. And boy, is it going to be a hangover? Maybe I'll just sleep out here tonight. I'm too tired to walk upstairs. Mm. If I can give y'all any word of advice, Never get old. Having an old, broke-down body sucks. <laughs>